What is going on guys? Healy here and for this video I'm going to be going over top 10 relief pitchers and closing pitchers. We're going to group them all together. Uh, if you missed my previous video of this, I did upload top 10 starting pitchers and I'm going to be the show 18. It is the end of the year, so I am making my list on the top 10 for every position on MLB The Show 18, and I'm assuming that the rest of the cards that are coming out won't make top 10s, so should not have to worry about that. Starting off with number 10, Rob Nen. 92 overall, he was a career arc this year, and you need to do a lot of stuff to get him. A lot of these relief pitchers, you needed a ridiculous amount of innings to get, but based off facing these guys, they are... Some of them will be pretty good, and that's why they're on the list. He is great per nines with 110 hits per nine and 113 Ks per nine. His walks per nine is 66, control is 77, so it's okay. He has a four seam, a slider, a splitter, and a curveball. He has a 99 mile per hour fastball, which, as we all know, fastball speeds don't matter too much in 18, but he does have the slider, curveball, splitter. And what makes him better than a lot of other pitchers is the splitter. Splitter's the best pitch in the game. It's overpowered, especially with the PCI placement and everything. It's just way too good. I considered Trevor Hoffman to be no my number 10 spot, but I forgot about Rob Nunn and the splitter and per nines and pitch speeds just makes him in the top 10. I, I know I said pitch speeds, but... Still, you'd rather have a guy throw 99, even though it doesn't seem like 99, than a guy that throws like 93. Number nine on my list is Blake Trinan. 118 hits per nine, 106 Ks per nine, 86 walks per nine, 89 controls. This guy will hit his spots. What I find great about Blake Trinan is his pitch selection does not have a changeup or a curveball, but he has a sinker, a slider, a four-seam cutter or two-seamer. The best combo with him is the sinker and cutter, and you can throw the occasional slider. Every pitch is 90-plus miles per hour, so it's going to be the same speed out of the hand for the most part, but the movement is what's going to be key. You're going to have people missing pitches and getting out, because they're going to be looking for a pitch and you're going to throw a different pitch. The sinker inside right-handers, way too good. You can throw the cutter away to them and they will just miss most of the time. The movement on the cutter is insane. And then the slider, even though it's 90 miles per hour, it has a lot of movement as well, just like the cutter, except it moves horizontally as well. So just so many different pitches that you could throw and you're going to have guys missing the PCI on most of them. Number eight on my list is Kenley Jansen. Also with Blake Trinan, 2.5 ERA, 40 innings with him, uh, three saves, one blown save, his whips 0 0.93, 23 strikeouts. Pretty decent. Number eight on my list is Kenley Jansen. He has a cutter, slider, and sinker. Only three pitches, no change up, no curveball. But just like Blake Trinan, the cutter and sinker are amazing. Sinker has a lot of movement to it. The cutter has some movement, but you're always going to get movement on pitches from Kenley Jansen. And then you could throw his 83 mile per hour slider, which will catch people off guard a little bit. He has 95 hits per nine, 96 Ks per nine, 82 walks per nine, 77 control, which isn't too bad. I just love this card to jam right-handers or put the cutter inside the left-handers sinker away to lefties the slider he just works movement on every pitch with the 99 break and his stats in 119 innings for me 10 and 5 record 29 saves 5 blown saves 1.81 era absolutely amazing with 0.76 whip and 91 strikeouts in 100 and almost 120 innings number seven and the first of two lefties on this list, Josh Hader. 125 hits per nine, 125 Ks per nine. His walk spine isn't too good, but his control is pretty decent, and he has a lot of break. This guy is a lefty 
lefty specialist. You could pitch him against right-handed guys as well. His motion is funky. It was a 96 mile per hour fastball, 83 mile per hour slider, 86 change up. His slider is dirty. His fastball, you can throw it into right handers. Some guys will get jammed from it. Like I said, his motion is just a whack. Uh, his ERA isn't the best for me on this card, but I will show you his player of the month one 93 innings, 1.45 ERA. Uh, when the finest came out, Everyone used Josh Hader this year, so as the year went on, people got more acclimated to him. And did I use his live series a lot? Yeah, 1.42, so pretty good. I don't know why I got smashed with this left-hander and inversion, but he is on my list. Number six on my list is Jose LeClerc. It was a four-seam, a splitter, a change-up, a two-seam, and a curveball. So he has no slider or a cutter. No pitches that move horizontally, but he has a lot of pitches that move vertically. His 113 hits per nine, 108 Ks per nine. His walks per nine is not great. His control isn't great. You could throw the four seam, two seam if you want for the fastball, but his best pitch, why he's on this list, is his splitter. His splitter is almost unhittable, and it still has a decent velocity change compared to the changeup. Changeup has some decent movement, but the splitter even slower than that. The movement is dirty and he has a curveball that's 79 miles per hour. Number 5 on my list is Eric Gagne. 120 hits per nine, 125 Ks per nine, 72 walks, 76 control, 95 break. This guy was in the game almost from the beginning and he was a monster. He throws a four seam, a Vulcan change, a curveball, a splitter, and a slider. He has his splitter, which was overpowered in this year's game. Saying that again, you could throw the fastball, you could throw the change up. He does have a slider. Hard to control, but he did have a slider to work in there. And what made his repertoire even better was his curveball. Throw a 96 mile per hour fastball and throw a 71 mile per hour curveball. It just would float in there, had so much movement. You would catch people off guard. You could throw it in the dirt, and it would look like it would be a strike, but yeah, easy strikeouts. I had a 2.03 ERA with him, 48 innings pitch, 63 strikeouts. So that's how good his pitch selection was with the strikeouts compared to innings pitched. Number four on my list and the other lefty in my top 10, Billy Wagner. He throws a four seam, a slider, a curveball, and a changeup. So he's everything you want in a pitcher. He has 122 hits per nine, 125 Ks per nine, 94 walks per nine, 85 control, 99 break, 99 mile per hour fastball, 89 slider, 80 curve, and an 83 mile per hour changeup. Now his per nines are good. So the PCI would be a little small. Uh, his motion, kind of weird. Not smooth, so he could catch some people off guard. But this guy was pretty dominant. I don't, I never used him in a BR, but when I faced him, I did have some problems facing him. Uh, the fastball, the slider had ridiculous movement on it. The curveball is good. Change up. There's no way this guy can't be in the top five, even for being like a lefty. But being a lefty is one of the reasons why he's not higher on the list. So number three on my list is Koji Uehara. 118 hits per nine, 112 Ks per nine, 98 walks per nine, 93 control with 99 break. He had a splitter as his number one pitch, 81 miles per hour. He threw a 90 mile per hour fastball, 84 mile per hour cutter, 70 mile per hour curveball. The splitter, dirty, overpowered. That's why he's the top three pitcher. Fastball, you could place that if you throw a bunch of splitters. His cutter was okay. His curveball was dirty. It's like Eric Gagne's where it just floats to the plate and it has a bunch of movement. So you could throw it in the dirt and it would just get lobbed in there. Look like it'd be a strike and just hit the dirt. But splitter, main reason why this guy's a top three pitcher and a lot of great people used him in their pen. Number two on my list and the most used guy from top players, 
Bruce Suter. Anytime they had to go to the pen, you would see a player pull this guy out and just do work with him. 99 hits Bryant, 125 case Bryant, 63 walks, 77 control, 99 break. Why? He had a splitter. The splitter was so good on Bruce Suter. Had some nasty movement. His four seam, only 92, but compared to 78 miles per hour, you could catch some people off guard. He also had a slider, so you could get some movement away compared to the vertical movement that the splitter had. You would get some horizontal with the slider. I personally didn't have a good time using Suter, but every time I go up against him, I just get destroyed. The splitter, I don't know what it was in 18. You just could not hit the ball. That's why he is my number two relief pitcher in the game. And my number one guy for MLB The Show 18, Goose Gossage. You didn't see a lot of people use this guy this year. I don't even know how many times I even faced him. He just was not really worth going after. But I do remember a couple times I faced him. I had a little bit of a problem facing him. He has a forcing fastball, a slurve, a sinker, and a changeup. The sinker, big pitch. The changeup was pretty decent as well. Good mile per hour differential. It's per nines, 121 hits per nine, 125 Ks per nine, 79 walks per nine, 82 control. And he also had 99 break. Uh, if this guy was more obtainable and easier to get, I think a lot more people would have had him in the pen. But even with the pitch speeds being a little lower in 18, this guy was dominant, and he is my number one relief pitcher, and I'm going to be the show 18. Let me know your list in the comments section down below who you would have. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed this, Healy, and I am out. Peace.